this right here came out of that. That looks like a pretty nice little horn. Martin, it says. Previously on Locker Nuts, I purchased a huge unit for 800 bucks to find out why all the contents were stacked on the left side. The unit has produced some exciting and valuable items, including Disney Lennox collectibles and a Hope Chest time capsule. After a huge garage sale, which blew out a lot of the merchandise, I'm wiped out, but there is still work to do. Alright. Day after the garage sale. I'm not sure what made that garage sale so much harder than a normal uh, day for me, like a flea market day or whatever, but after the garage sale, we, re we didn't finish packing up till about 4.30. Oh, really took a shower, laid down, didn't get up the rest of the day, I, and, and didn't get up too early today either. I woke up early, but just couldn't move. I'm sore, really, really sore. Back, everything's stiff. This is the load I've got for the flea market tomorrow. Can you believe that? It's full. And then this right here. Back seat's pretty much empty. But uh yeah, Monday we're gonna go to the flea market on Monday and unload the rest uh of the stuff. Hopefully come home empty handed or almost empty handed. Oh okay, so the total uh total of the day was nine hundred and thirty bucks. That's what we sold. Not too bad. Uh, I wish I could say what came out of the last locker, but I just really can't. I had so many different lockers that just been stuffing stuff to the side. And brought that out. It was kind of surprising too. Some of the stuff that I thought was really good stuff. Like I had a whole table of vintage items. And we weren't asking much on them. Uh, barely sold anything on the whole table. But uh, that that um, trunk. That, that Montgomery Ward trunk. That did sell for 100 bucks. The lady picked up a little glass piece for 5 bucks. And she said would you take 100 for the trunk and the glass piece. I said 100 on the trunk. So it's like 5 bucks less. Yeah I'll take it. So. Got a hundred bucks on that. That was the biggest item of the day. Biggest item. We still have that bike. Uh, that's around the side of the yard. I do have a few items on the side of the yard, but we still got some stuff we got to sort out. But um, nine hundred thirty bucks. I would say, I don't know, three to four hundred probably from that last locker. Today's Sunday. We got church. We've got a basketball game, um, and then somewhere I got to mix in there, both listing and working on these videos. So I got a full day as always. Okay, so here's the one box that we never got to open at the garage sale. Let me just open it and look at what we got here. Mm -mm, this is something better. I think it's a photo album. Oh, I thought it was a jewelry box. It's heavy too. Let's see what we got here. Over here we got Alex. Over there somewhere. There's George. All right, here's one good thing that came out of that box. So I figured out. I thought all at the garage sale. I thought that 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 uh, wardrobe box was uh, closed, and I I realized afterwards. No, the one with clothes I left at the locker. So this right here came out of that. That looks like a pretty nice little horn. I, I know. But that's nothing about musical instruments. And I'm not going to be putting this one out. Martin, it says. Hmm, like Martin guitars, I think. Does Martin make guitars, I think? So, uh, yeah, this is a good find. This is definitely a good find. Selling quite a bit this morning already. I bought this windmill right here from Mike, 50 bucks. I didn't even let him get it off his truck before I said it's sold. There's Mike over there doing a live, you see him? Hanging out at Alex's booth. He's talking on the camera, you see him? Dollar sale, everything's one dollar.
Everything's free. Oh, we don't have that far to go. Everything's free. Done. Done. Here's what we got. A little bit of stuff we're taking home. Not much. Bin of hats. This is a empty bin there. This is closed. That box is closed. Just stuff I couldn't let go, like starter jackets and stuff. They're just not paying the money for them out there. But here's the windmill I picked up from Mike for 50 bucks. I love that thing. Thank you, Mike, if you're watching this. I appreciate that deal. That was a cool piece, and uh, we're going to give it a good home. Can't wait to put that in the backyard. Um, tape, empty bins, sawhorses, tables, that's all I got. Um, this little stop right here is close to the dump. We just went to the dump. 31 bucks to get rid of those. Most of it was those big, huge cabinets that I never even get off the trailer because it's so heavy. They're at least 200 pounds each. Not, no joke, because I it was a total of 640 pounds, and there's only a few boxes. I'm not sure what this place is right here. But the smell of dog food is in the air, like really, really strong. And I mean, I don't see what, what else could be causing the smell of dog food. It's not necessarily a bad smell, it's just really strong. So I'm thinking maybe that's a dog food plant right there. But, but check out this uh, truck stop here. This place is legit. It's like new and it's beautiful and clean. And the price of gas is only $3.95 right now. See the price? Oops, I guess I just covered it up. There's the price right there, $3.95. Which I shouldn't be so happy about, but I think at home, for me right now, it's over four, four and a quarter. So I'm saying about 30 cents a gallon by fueling up out here in Stockton, which is about an hour from home. So hey, it offsets a little bit of the cost of driving all the way out here. Just, I can find a way to offset the time. That'd be great. Yeah, I forgot to mention that we did about 395 bucks or something like that. Just shy of 400. Just shy of 400 bucks today. All right. If you saw all those CDs that I had and the albums, I think I sold zero albums today at a dollar each. And the CDs, I sold probably about 15 of them for like a buck each today. I probably should have just brought those out next time and, and kept trying to sell them, maybe two for a buck or something, because there's some decent titles there. I just brought them the half price books. I think I've been here for, no joke, an hour and a half, I think. And they make you wait in the store. And uh, for all of those, which was literally three to 400 CDs and probably 75 albums, 20, 27 bucks. <laughs> The time alone's not worth it, but I just want to get out of here. I've been here so long, it took them forever. So, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Okay, if you remember yesterday at the flea market, we went through that box. And I thought it was it was a big garment box, and I thought it was filled with hanging clothes. The one piece that we pulled out that was a little more interesting was this trumpet. Which I didn't even know. I didn't know it was a trumpet. Yeah, I have very little experience with horns. I love the way they sound. <laughs> I love a good band with a nice horn section. Martin. And I did say, like, I think Martin makes guitars. And um, so apparently they make horns. This is Martin Handcraft. It needs to be polished, I think. I, I think these need to be tuned up, too. It's got a couple of these thingies. <laughs> uh, a couple of these thingies. I don't, know, I don't know what those are. And this thing... Which I figured out, it's got some felt on them. Pops that in. I think it makes a different sound. Feels nice in the hand. I mean, it definitely feels like it belongs there.
Dang it, I wish I would have taken some music lessons in school. Uh, I have not the faintest idea how to work this. Alright, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jack, why do you have that O face on? Let me show you. Okay, that, that's, that's what you're seeing right there. 9,000. 7,900. 2,200. That looks very similar with the engraving on there. 163. I clicked on that one trying to figure out why that's so much cheaper. I don't know. 189. 300. 352. $1,000. 259. 1950. So the ones that are really high priced, they do say committee trumpet. This one does not say committee. Uh, but then, uh, like right here, we have handcraft. It's 235. 180 499 I mean this right here okay this is silver plated that's pretty dope so maybe the maybe the value is not completely out of line <laughs> I mean that I was thinking maybe it's a several hundred dollars or thousands of dollars but it looks like maybe well here's one six hundred even if I find an instrument that's worth a couple hundred bucks that's a great find uh i don't i've never found anything really worth too much money a couple hundred bucks maybe is my limit so i'm going to call a music store and see if they can take this in and, and uh give me a, a better identification on it and maybe see if it needs to be tuned up or i don't know what let's see Hello, yeah hey i've got a question for you so i came across this trumpet it's made by martin I think it's from the 1920s. I know nothing about uh, instruments, to be to be honest. And I was wondering, if I brought this into you guys, could you take a look at it and maybe identify it for me and tell me maybe the value on it? Uh, we can if it's a 1920s horn. Yeah. I mean, you're talking the value is going to be so widespread to compare to if there's a collector around that would be interested in it. Otherwise, it has really no value. Unless there's somebody collecting them. Hmm. Okay. Because I see on eBay like there's a there's a pretty Martin broad committee range. Would go for a lot if it was a Martin committee, but they didn't make the committees in the twenties. It doesn't say committee. It says Martin Handcraft. Exactly. Yeah. They they had one horn that was the specific one to put in, uh, Martin trumpets on the map was the Martin committee because Miles Davis played them. Uh huh. And other than that, the earlier stuff from that they were you know basically student level. You know, you know, instruments, they're handcraft instruments, stuff like that, but they're difficult. They're more difficult to play. They're difficult to keep in tune. Yeah, the, I mean, you know, I didn't you think bring it's... it in, I look at it, but it's basically going to be with, like, we wouldn't take it on consignment because it would sit forever. It's going to be a very difficult sell. Got it. All right, well, thanks for your help. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Right, I don't know. That doesn't look like no student-level horn to me. Something a little bit nicer. So as exciting as that was, the trumpet did not bring in the big score. But you know what? It still brought in 275 bucks. I sold it locally because I didn't really know how to test it or even describe this thing on eBay. I didn't feel comfortable. So I listed it locally, and it went. Next, I sold the Billy Bass. You saw that in one of the earlier parts. Sold that on eBay for $24.99. Quick sale. And then also the Jack LaLanne brand new juicer, $69.99. I also sold that quick, priced it kind of low. So that locker continued to produce good stuff even down to the last box. But that was the last box of the first half of the locker. Yeah, can you believe that? I still have the back half of it. So much work, so much work. So today, I went to the flea market today. This is on a different locker. Um, fast forward, I'm on a different locker. I went to the flea market today, then I went to the dump. Then I took a load over to my mom's house because we're having a garage sale this week. I'm pooped right now, but when I'm watching this video, I'm going, wow, I was I was spent. You could tell I was tired. I was all tight and sore from the garage sale. I don't know why that took so much out of me, but that was a tough one. A lot of heavy stuff. We moved a tremendous amount of merchandise. But, um, yeah, hey, that's part of this business. It is a lot of work. If you think this isn't a lot of work then you're, you, you've got it wrong. This is a tremendous amount of work, a lot of physical work, and um, I do love it, but I can see on my face on this video, 
um, sometimes it does take a toll but it's all good so um, I hope you enjoyed that we still like I said we still have the back half I'm gonna wrap that up a little bit quicker but I do hope you guys are enjoying this video series because this is one of my favorite lockers so far this year a um, lot of good stuff but still more good stuff to come all right so until next time good luck to you God bless you and we will see you next time here on Lagonuts.